According to scientific knowledge, in 1962, they came up with a system that they called revolutionary to save lives. They called it CPR. CPR, someone can't breathe anymore. You go with, you give him CPR, you bring him back to life. This is in 1962. And it's approximately 60 years ago or 50 something years ago. And people call this revolutionary. This was a life changer and technically it was if you didn't know it existed. But according to Chazal and Yalkut Shimoni, in last week's parasha, last week's parasha of the Miraglim, we had the spies go to Canaan, which is later to be called Israel. And what do they say they saw? They saw giants. So giants. Now this Midrash was written nearly 2,000 years ago. This Chazal is telling us that when they saw the giants, the giants also saw them. And they screamed such a loud scream that everyone passed out. Everyone passed out. And then it says, and what they ended up doing is they came up to the Miraglim and they gave them what something they called mouth to mouth in order to breathe back air into their mouth to revive them. I think that's also called CPR. About 200 years ago, they discovered a, a way to revive someone that also lost their breath, needs to get stimulated in order to breathe by putting a tube through their throat. This was again 200 years ago revolutionary. The Bala Turim, one of the major sages wrote about 700 years ago. There were two women written in the Torah in the uh, Sefer Shemot in Exodus. Their job was to deliver the Jewish babies. They had two names, Shifra and Pua. Later on we find out that that's actually Yochevet and Miriam. So Chazal asks, why do they call it Shifra and Pua? Their names were something different. Shifra comes from the word Shoferet, meaning to breathe in. Why, why, why was she called Shifra? Because she would breathe in and to still life babies. If a baby was born not breathing, she would give a mouth to mouth. This is even a previous source from the Yalkut Shimoni. This is a Midrash from 3,000 years ago.